Hello people, it's Mitchell and Aislinn here and we're coming to you from Oxford Street which was once a place that probably made us queers very nervous when we were new to Sydney but fortunately we're feeling very comfortable and confident here which is why we're in a position where we can give a tour to two heteros. I brought Tom and Alex here to Oxford Street which is Sydney's iconic gay strip to experience for the first time and they're going to give you their running commentary. Will they love it? Will they hate it? You'll find out. So Alex, how confident are you that you're going to get hit on tonight? I'm pretty confident. Like, I was going into this night going to Nikki like, I honestly can't wait. Nikki, the girlfriend, because he's hetero. He does have nice eyes. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what about you, Thomas? I was expecting it, to be honest, but that's stereotypes, I guess. Uh, hi. <laughs> your jacket looks shit, and your hair needs fixing. Hello, darkness, my old friend. You need to get out of my face. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, horizontal stripes on that figure is brave. <laughs> Oscar, who is obviously a gay representative here. Uh, Oscar, what's your advice to the Hets before they delve into gay territory? You need a ton of glitter for a start. Where's the glitter? Do not go into ARC bathrooms after 3am. Be prepared for anything. You're going to see a lot of nipples, you're going to see a lot of abs, and you will definitely see a lot of male on male tongue action. One of the major concerns of the heteros being here is that they might be hit on and that'll make them uncomfortable. As a woman, what's your message? That happens like literally every time you step outdoors, so deal with it. <laughs> As a woman. All right, ladies and gentlemen, and, and everything in between, should we head off? I'm so tired. First off no! is Palms, which I'm told plays a stunningly refined concoction of 80s bangers, 90s club classics, and 2000s pop hits. Let's see if it's all it's cracked up to be. We interrupt this program for a heteronormative rant. I'm in there for like, what, two minutes in the line and some hetero has the audacity to come and hit on me. I try to throw him off, you know. I was like, yeah, I'm right, just having a good time at the gay club. He goes to me, oh, did you know this was a gay club? I was like, oh, yeah, no, I didn't realise the... Rainbow flags didn't hit me off or anything. Bit of a giveaway, the rainbow flags. Bit of a giveaway, mate. Uh, no, it continues to hit on me. And I just kind of like slunk away like a snail. I was like, yeah, goodbye, sir. Now, uh, Alex, as we uh, prefaced earlier, we thought that you were going to get hit on a lot. And we did notice there were quite a few people making eyes at you. Did you take my advice and you avoided the eye contact? You didn't want to give them mixed signals? Mate, at first I was looking back, just trying to suss the field, like see what happens. And I was sussing it a bit, and this one guy was looking back at me, I'm like, oh, I'll see where this goes. I looked back at him a few times, and then he got real keen when he, like, him and his mate walked over to us. So at that stage, I was freaking out. Abort mission. Abort, man. I did not look at him once. Anyways, I was just peering at you guys, like, not dancing anymore, just freaking out. Wow. Eventually, I think he got the message or something, and he walked off. Now, while we were in there... I noticed that one particular man offered Thomas here a bottle of jungle juice. If you don't know what jungle juice is, it is a um, it's a chemical, and when you smell it, it um it loosens your muscles. If you know what I'm saying, so it's very helpful in the gay world. Thomas, why did you refuse the jungle juice? Uh, let's just say I've had it before, and uh, I wasn't keen to have it in the club. Who knows what could have happened? All right, heads. Now we are heading to Stonewall. There are three levels at Stonewall, and each level accommodates its own vibe. Level one is where you can chill out, watch a drag show, sit on the couches, have a conversation with the person next to you. Level two, they have a cage. Yeah, like a cage, the sort of place that they keep a stray animal, and that's where you can let loose and have a bit of a dance. Level three is like a little bit more intimate, you know? I'm just gonna leave it at that. It's a little bit more intimate than the other levels. What did you think of Stonewall? Wasn't bad. I was up, uh, I jumped up on the cage area. I was looking down, a few boys looking at me. It felt good. I felt wanted. But at the same time, it felt different. I didn't act on anything, obviously. Loyalty. Loyalty. I love just monogamy. Loyalty. I just appreciate my girlfriend, so I can't do it. Love her. The star of the evening, to be honest. You're not wrong. Ew! I have so many questions for you, Thomas. The cage at Stonewall. Cage, yes. And you were looking out at the whole crowd, looking up at you. Did you feel like a little bit of like energy, you know? You were like feeling alive? I was kind of like a look at me, mum. You know, like, are you proud now sort of thing. 
because I never get enough attention, so I'm always craving it. And if anything I've taken from tonight, it's that the Hets love validation. They love validation. All we want is attention, and going to a gay club really feels, like, satisfactory, so... Because heteros don't get all the attention anyway. No. Like it's yeah, fun. exactly. No, they're deprived of attention. They're, they don't get anything. Not one person hit on me tonight. I got told that I have a shitty jacket and a bad haircut. What a fucking note to end on.